technical roles almost require a different mindset, a different attitude, and a different way of looking at the job. And that's one of the biggest shifts that I made when I went from a non-technical to a technical role is before tech, I had sort of an eight to five mentality. I showed up, I did my job, I left. And I left the job at the office. I left it wherever it was that I was working and nothing followed me home. Maybe I had a bad day and that would follow me a little bit. For the most part though, it was done. Tech's different. When I'm working on a feature, that feature is mine. If I don't get it done, the end of the day, I'm coming back the next day and I'm still doing that feature. I'm still working that. And so I have to consciously detach from it. I have to not let sort of the, uh, the dark cloud of still having to fix this problem potentially or figure out a solution when a lot of other things haven't worked. That's still with me. And I have to consciously put that down so I can focus on personal life, downtime, relaxing and recovering, getting ready to work the next day. And so tech's different. If you're working a problem, if you're troubleshooting something, no one comes in at the end of your shift and picks it up. Most jobs, that problem, you leave, you come back the next day, that problem's still there. And that can, that can drag on you a little bit when you leave. It can feel like your head's always in work. Emails and this constant rush of digital types of contact, you're always on. And in some cases, again, it follows you home. Those emails are always bombarding you. Those text messages, those Slack messengers, all of those things are, they're constants. And if you've gone from a more traditional non-tech role, that just wasn't your life before. And it's a huge shift in attitude to have to consciously disconnect because you could work all day if you wanted to. In most tech roles, you don't have to stop working. There's no one that says stop but you really need to, you need to detach, you need to disconnect, and that becomes an intentional process. But the flip side of that is you have to be relentless in problem solving. I got thrown in to some of the highest pressure situations when I first transitioned out of sales and into technology because I was customer facing. And if the problem didn't get solved, the customer was legitimately right in front of my face. And I couldn't say, sorry, I got to go home. That was an uncomfortable thing for me to say. And so I had to figure out how to fix the problem. Many times there were bugs in the software. They weren't fixable. I wasn't going to have a patch done that day to resolve their problem. Or core functionality didn't work for them the way they needed it to. Customers were angry. And I had to figure it out. Like there was nobody else. I could call support, but if support said, uh, it was me, it was me. And that's a perception shift. It may just be you and you have to be okay with that. You have to be able to shift from a problems are bad mindset to this problem is just something I haven't solved yet, but I'm going to keep working at it. That's the truth of technology. There are going to be days where everything is going to fall apart. All of the things that you've done that have worked 10, 50, 300 times are just going to fail you. And there you are with a problem that can feel unsolvable. You're in sort of this impossible pit and you then have to make a decision. Either this problem breaks me and I give up or you break it into chunks and you just start solving problems. You just, you just start, you just get going. And you try thing after thing after thing. And when you run out of things to try, you then go look for more things. You get creative, but you keep trying and you keep pushing and you keep finding people that may be able to help you. You keep learning, looking online for solutions. And in some cases you are building your own solution to a problem that most people have never seen before. You're on your own. You're on an entire island by yourself with this horrible monster problem and it's on you to solve it. You have to love that because it's a lot of fun. I mean, think about it, you know, fate of the company type stuff every once in a while falls on your shoulders and it's you solve the problem or the revenue doesn't get booked or the feature no longer works or customers are angry. That can be really gratifying. It's high pressure in a lot of cases, but at the same time, I mean, it's cool to be the firefighter. It's cool to be the hero, the person that saves the day. It's also mentally gratifying to 
you did it. You solved a problem nobody else could. Like, that's awesome. But it's a completely different mindset. It is being comfortable with that sort of uncomfortable, undefined, uncertain as to how you're going to fix this process. And your days end. So at the end of your day, you go home and you have to detach yourself from this relentless problem solving or you won't go to sleep. You won't be able to enjoy, you know, dinner. You won't be, you seriously can be so deep in a problem that you forget what's going on around you because you can't pull your head out of this problem. And so that's something in tech that your mindset changes and you have to be very intentional about what you're thinking about and when you're thinking about it. And you have to learn to compartmentalize these problems that can seem just massive and overwhelming. That's something I had to do transferring into technology was get comfortable with being the problem solver, with being someone who's just going to keep throwing ideas at a problem until I solved it or until I got creative and figured out a different way to do whatever it was that was necessary in order to solve the problem, in order to create whatever it was that the company needed me to build. That's a huge mindset shift. And that's something that if you're in a non-technical job, that's probably not part of your job description. And it can be extraordinarily intimidating if you're not ready for it. If you drop yourself into one of these processes of just continuous problem solving, and your mind isn't ready for that, isn't ready for fail, 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 fail for two days straight just to succeed and to find that one thing that finally works. If you're not ready for that, it's very difficult. It's a very stressful role and you're set up to fail in a lot of cases. So as you're transitioning into a technical role, change that mindset around. Don't be afraid of problems, attack them. And don't be afraid to fail on your first resolution fail again and again, because that's how it works. That's how we solve problems. That's how we figure things out, especially in data science, the number of things that don't work before you find something that does to model that system appropriately. You usually go through a whole lot of different models, different data sets, different approaches to every part of your workflow in order to get something that finally fits the business need. It's problem solving. It's a lot of failure, but it's a lot of fun. So don't be afraid of it, but get ready for it.